Dave from Rock and Reel Reviews, uh, now in Glasgow with James and Jay from UK progressive metal band Tesseract. Hey. Hello. Um, thank you, firstly, thanks very much for taking the time to do the interview, much appreciated. Um, you guys have just come off a string of kind of European dates with uh, Periphery. Yeah. Yeah, how did that go? It was really good. Yeah. Um, most of the shows were sold out, which was fantastic. Nice. Um, well, if they weren't, they were very close to me. Um, we did, uh, Paris was the first one, Nijmegen in Holland, uh, a load of German dates, back to Holland and then over here. Nice. Yeah, and then you fantastic. finished off with, was it Takedown, was that Takedown Fest right after that? Yeah, very yeah. much. Yeah, right after that. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you try any of your new material on the on the tour with Periphery and the Takedown Fest? Yeah, we played about, the Periphery I think we played about three or four new tracks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they seemed to go down quite well. The, yeah. mm -hmm. the nice thing about talking about Periphery is we share quite a lot of the same fans. So. Right. Um, yeah, they were very close to the new stuff. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we got really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One night, uh, our van broke down and um, alone, wasn't it? Mm. And uh, luckily, Periphery hadn't left. So we were both loading out at the same time. And they came over and they were like, Do you need a place to stay? And we were like, Yes. Brilliant. So, uh, yeah, we're doing that on their bus. Pantera and I. Pantera. Awesome. Um, do you. Do you find there's a big difference between the kind of European crowds and then coming over here? Like, is there a different response from the crowds, or is it fairly the same? Uh, it's the same everywhere, really. Yeah. Like, uh, I, although I think it varies from gig to gig, but it's not really, doesn't really, it's not really related to location. No, it, it's just it, yeah. it depends on the type of venue as well. Like in in the smaller venues, you tend to get more. It's just sort of sweaty, aggressive. Like everyone's going a bit yeah. mental. In the bigger ones, you get more people. You get the, the small group of people doing that, but a lot of people. Sort of stand in and listen, I guess, because it's, like, it's that kind of music. At least yeah. the new stuff is. Yeah. yeah we're not really in mosh pit. <laughs> occasionally, <laughs> occasionally something erupts, like yeah. one of the heavier is, but most of the time, yeah. I quite enjoyed the prog fest actually, because it was all kind of middle aged men, sort of like that. Uh, <laughs> 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 like out into, into the music. So. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, your new album, uh, Altered State, is due to be released on May 27th. Mm -hmm. Um, I've heard the album, uh, the guys at Rock and New Reviews have heard the album, uh, I loved it. And uh, you can read my review on the website, um, I give it a 5 out of 5. Um, how, long, how long have you been working on the, on the album since you're, you've released a little, a little EP? Um, previously, how long have you been working on the album? Was there, were you working on stuff before the EP or has it just been kind of since the EP was released? Most of the material on it is all very new material. There's a couple of books that we've had for ages and we've gone, oh that's going to work there, because we've got a back catalogue of loads of stuff that yeah. we kind of drop into when it's going to work. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of it is new stuff that Apple's kind of just sat in his studio and gone, there you go, there's a whole song going on, wow, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's exciting to be playing new stuff, it really yeah. is. Yeah, definitely, it's, uh, I think the first album stuff we've been playing forever now. Yeah. So it's just muscle memory. Like last night we, we played um, the last three parts of Concealing Bank last night. We haven't played them in a, I don't even think we rehearsed them. And we sort of came to do it last night. I was like, oh god, we're playing these? Shit. And just remembered them luckily. Yeah. <laughs> so, it was like, I remember at a certain point in part six, it's like, I don't know what's next. I actually don't know what's next. All my things are done, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it was like that for a lot of last night. April as well. Like, yeah. We've played it that many times, it just kind of comes together and you just. Everything goes where it's meant to go, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> um, this new album, um, uh, vocally on this new album, it seems to be your most kind of melodic album. Yeah. yeah. Um, was that um, a kind of conscious decision, or did it just kind of happen organically, or was it a bit of both? I guess. But, um, we we wanted to sing. We wanted to get someone in the band that could sing, like yeah. properly sing. And when we heard Ash, we sort of gave him. We gave him the album to just work with and do what he does. Yeah. And, we knew we were, he, he wasn't a screamer, um, but to be honest, we, there's not really a place in our music for that anymore. It, doesn't, mean, it really doesn't need it actually. No, no, it really it, doesn't. It's like, I mean, there's, there's people that I guess, like some of the older fans still want that because back in the day there was a load of screaming. Yeah. But I don't know, I think you can do more with harmonies. They yeah. can layer so many more interesting things and add depth to the music instead of just going. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, like, so much more versatile. There's so much you can do with it, but it's quite limited with the scream, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. It's got its moments, like, don't get me wrong, I mean, I grew up with bands like Dillinger and they do it to great effect, yeah. but um, 
yeah, I guess at least for this record, it, it wasn't for us. Yeah. Um, when it comes to the new album, did you did you try any new new equipment or anything like that? Did you try any new guitars or try a new guitar tone or yeah. drumming wise anything that you, you added to your kit or? Uh, <laughs> I programmed it, so I uh, <laughs> I added a little Yamaha pad thing and played that. Um, which was different because we didn't have the time or the budget to go to a studio, so we yeah. worked with what we've got. Um, I don't know what Aqua we used other than yeah. his normal setup. No, guitar wise, uh, it's a different tuning, so um, that changed things quite drastically. Um, yeah, mainly uses mayonnaise, which I uh, can't really see was not even as guitar. Still seven string, yeah. Still seven string. On oh, the Axe Effects as well, uh, the, the first album was done entirely on a line six pot, pretty much. Alright. So, so, Going up in the world and technology. <laughs> <laughs> um, so after um, after this tour, the UK tour, what you got planned after that? Any more tours or festivals coming up? Um, we're doing uh, Tech Fest. Like tech oh fest yeah, because some Tech Fest. Yeah. Some light up actually. It looks awesome. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's going to be like a, a festival of friends, like everyone yeah. there we know pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Um, then we're doing. Uh, there's just loads planned for the end of the year. We can't announce details yet, but we're going to be in America, we're going to be in Europe. Uh, yeah, other than that, it sounds quite quiet. It's because of the release time of the album. Like we kind of, if we release something at the start of the year, there's a better chance we'd have been on the festivals, but yeah. we're releasing it now, which yeah. is the start of festival time, right? Yeah. So okay. it's kind of a bit too late to get any decent slots on the festivals. But next year, we'll yeah, be yeah. well, we'll be yeah. playing something good. Um, are there any. Um, Albums coming out this year that you are looking forward to, or anything you've heard this year that you've you've really liked. Um, you might have heard a million James. Maybe. Yeah, I have heard a million. My mind's gone blank. What about this year? Uh, New Dylan's out this week. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I'd like to hear that. Yeah. I would like to hear that. Um, I don't know. I saw that. That was pretty good. Oh yeah, that was good. That was good. Um, what's it? What's come out? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know loads of records that come out. <laughs> Was that was the new cloud kicker this year? That was really good. Oh yeah, you released something just recently, yeah. Yeah. Um, what about uh, the new circles that's been coming out this year as well? Uh, yeah, um, I haven't heard that yet. Oh, yeah. I've only heard the, uh, the, uh, the single, I think, from the Masters back yet. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, a liar actually. Oh yeah. Um, American Lives. Chicago. Yeah. Very melodic. Yeah. I saw the video for the track, it was really good, yeah. Um, our website basically deals with anything kind of punk, rock and metal related, but um, we also do movies as well. Um, is there anything you've seen this year that you've really loved movie-wise? Do you see a lot of movies? Um, or is there anything you really hate? And I love all movies. <laughs> um, I think what I've seen this year. I, I, I think it's, I don't really have a, a favourite genre. Like, I can yeah. sit down and watch absolutely any film. Like, if I'm with my girlfriend, we'll, we'll watch. Oh, we've watched loads of films, but I'm quite good watching a, a chick flick. I don't even care. Yeah. But um, what did I like? Iron Man Three. Brilliant. <laughs> um, what else was it called? Uh, Melancholy. Actually, I watched that for the oh, first yeah. time. That's amazing. Yeah. That's so good. That's depressing as hell. Yeah. It is depressing as hell, but I, I didn't expect it to go there. Like it was one of those films that I was watching it thinking, Nah, they're not going to. But it was done. Spectacularly well, I've not seen a film like that. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, then you catch the Evil Dead, don't you see that one? No, I think it's that, unfortunately. Yeah. I might do when it comes out, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thanks very much for taking the time out of this interview with us, I really appreciate it. I uh, look forward to seeing you later on uh, on stage. Um, the album's out on May 27th uh, through Century Media Records, uh, pre ordered or buy it when it comes out. Uh, thanks for watching, cheers. Thank you.